am a coach at Tigers Den CrossFit, and I'm also not just a CrossFit coach, I'm a nutrition coach, and uh, in the final stages of becoming a registered dietitian. Met Dr. Wu at Tiger's Den because he works out of Tiger's Den, so that's how I met him. <laughs> uh, so I came in because I had been having some chronic issues with my low back and uh, tried different methods and different chiropractors, different things, and uh, wanted to see if he could take a stab at it and what he might be able to do. So that was the original reason. I've seen him for lots of other things besides that, but that was the first thing that brought me in. So he did a bunch of different stuff. We uh, tried acupuncture, um, we did soft tissue stuff. Um, he did, of course, some sort of the standard chiropractic stuff, but we actually didn't focus as much on that as other things. Um, he also taught me some things about active mobility, um, working on not just the low back, but you know the hip flexors, the psoas, all the other musculature that is, the hamstrings, everything else that are kind of involved in it that you know could have been contributing to the low back pain. Um, we did some you know, FRCs, pails, rails, uh, all those other things. Um, it was very uh, active. <laughs> Definitely not just coming and being treated. There, I was sweating and doing a lot of work. <laughs> I found his treatment methods to be very effective for most everything I've ever come to see him for. However, that low back, um, it was just really resistant to what he was doing. So he actually referred me out to another doctor. Um, and so I ended up going to see someone else who specialized in a slightly different form of therapy. And um, thankfully that's actually been working quite well. Um, and you know, I still see Dr. Wu for other things. He's actually just recently helped me with a partial tear in my hamstring that uh, luckily has been healed up. And again, using some of those more, did a lot of um, soft tissue work and acupuncture in the very beginning and now working on strengthening that hamstring back up using some pretty effective isometric holds and things. Again, really. Uh, seems simple but pretty difficult <laughs> um, as I well you know as I've kind of been talking about there's a lot more um, active uh, you know activity on my part there's a lot you know he's teaching me uh, techniques and exercises and things to do to strengthen muscles and working on active mobility and not just this passive mobility and really owning your positions and kind of uh, finding ways to get better at those in ranges of motion in those mobility positions versus just, you know, yoga or sort of laying flat or getting just sort of standard ranges of motion is trying to get better ranges of motion than what are standard. You know, you don't want to just squat, but you want to squat well and you want to squat as you know well as you possibly can. So just because it's working doesn't mean it's proper form and trying to get to that proper form. So I think that was a way that he really differed um, in that and really you know, teaching teaching you how to get better so that you don't necessarily need to keep coming back to him. Of course, as athletes, we keep injuring ourselves, so <laughs> keep having to come back for that reason. But usually it's, you know, once the problem has been dealt with, that problem's done, it's the next one. <laughs> he is kind of generally just a movement expert and kind of works on just movement as a whole. And he, yes, works with a lot of CrossFitters and works out of a CrossFit box part of the time, but you know, also he clearly has a very strong focus on the gymnastics side of things too, and looking at sort of gymnastic strength training coming from there. But then also, you know, I mean, Ido Portal method and um, Dr. Andrew Espino and all these other things that kind of get brought in that he's always learning from. I mean, that's one of the things with Dr. Wu is he's always going and learning new things. And so he gets to bring those in and really uh, synthesize them for the patients and so that's kind of what helps make him a movement specialist and I know you know he's always going to be going out there learning the new greatest thing and it makes me want to then be like oh I want to go take that course too because it sounds so cool so um, he is definitely to the point <laughs> um, you're not gonna really spend a whole lot of time shooting you know just yeah you'll shoot the shit but um, you're not gonna spend a whole lot of time uh, kind of twilling your thumbs you're gonna be you're gonna be doing work and you know and he will be working on you too you know it's not gonna be a touchy-feely fun time it's it's definitely some there's some uh, difficult stuff it's can be uh, pretty painful uh, but you know you gotta move through it and you know that sort of soft touch doesn't necessarily I at least haven't found that it really gets you where you need to go you got to kind of work through that so well I've definitely I mean I would say a lot of the things that he does with me I then incorporate in with my mobility clients um, you know particularly some of the stuff about uh, the controlled articular rotations through the hip and the in the shoulder and and really not cheating yourself of the movement so you know you think you're doing it right because you can technically get in that position but where are you sort of how are you 
tweaking your body in a way to get to that position. Are you really in the proper position or are you finding a way to cheat around it to think you're in the right position? Which, you know, believe me, I do all the time. Just, you know, had to deal with that on Tuesday with Dr. Wu. I thought I was in the right position and it was all kinds of messed up and I was cheating myself. So I think that's probably one of the biggest ones is don't cheat yourself of, of doing the movement properly. And maybe it means that you feel like you have to kind of step back and you can't do the fancy thing you thought you could do, but if you spend time in those basic postures, those basic movements, and really are like owning those movements, you will ultimately go farther, so.